Hi everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use the Invisibobble, and these are awesome, and I'm only gonna be using the Invisibobble. So that means no hair elastics, no hair pins, and no bobby pins. So I uh, worked um, at the Behind the Chair booth a few weeks ago, and I was utilizing only Invisibobble, so I'm gonna show you guys a fun upstyle today in a matter of minutes with using, again, no bobby pins. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to start this look off, I went ahead and sectioned the front sections in front of the ear away for later. Now I'm just gonna create a ponytail. So I'm gonna go pretty high up, um, not a high pony, but just a little bit below the occipital bone. So what's key about using the Invisibobble is really how you utilize it the first couple times. So basically we're gonna do a ponytail, right? You need to slip it over your pony and you wanna pull and stretch. This is gonna make it really nice and secure to the head. Then we're gonna do it another time on the opposite side and pull and stretch. Pull and stretch on the other side. And then the last couple times is just gonna be loose because now that it's secure to the head, we need these loose bits to go ahead and secure the rest of the hair into. So I'm just gonna tighten this up and then I'm gonna hold the base of the ponytail and pinch and pull for some volume and some texture. Now we wanna go ahead and put the rest into our Invisibobble. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is create like almost like an equestrian knot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it. Then I'm gonna pull this hair through. Now we wanna go ahead and attach it into our Invisibobble because that's gonna help keep it into place. So I've done one knot. Now you can see this loose bit of the Invisibobble. So I'm just opening it up. Then I'm gonna pull the hair through and create a loop. This is what's called an Invisiloop. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and fan the hair out. And that's basically it. So you can see that it's really nice and secure. I'll probably um, later on just go ahead and curl this down, but now we're gonna go ahead and connect the sides into the back, and I'm gonna do that by just creating a fun knotted technique. So I'm gonna take a small section of hair, almost like a triangle section, and then we're gonna do our first knot. So I'm gonna divide the hair in half, then I'm just gonna do a simple knot. The other way, so just doing a simple knot. Now we wanna connect this rest of the hair into this knot, so we're gonna split this hair in half, Add it with the, these strands of hair and then create another knot. Pretty simple, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing our knotted technique. So we've done our last knot. Now we need to connect this into our Invisibobble. So what I'm actually gonna do is find a loose piece of our Invisibobble and incorporate it into it. So I'm just gonna go over, let's see, I can see a little bit of Invisibobble here. So I'm just gonna open that up with my fingers and then pinch and pull this out. Then I'm just gonna fan the ends out. On the opposite side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Split the hair in half, do a knot, connect the hair underneath, splitting the hair in half, and then continuing doing a knot technique. Now we wanna go ahead and connect it into our Invisibobble. So I'm gonna find a loose bit of our Invisibobble. So I'm just gonna connect it into this guy. Again, pulling it up, pulling this hair through, and then spreading it out. Now I'm just gonna curl the um, leftover bits just under, just to kinda of go with the rest. Just comb it into the hairstyle. Then I'm just gonna spread out any hair that I need to, just to kind of create a little bit more fullness. All right, so now I'm just gonna use a little bit of hairspray to finish it off. Pinch and pull any areas just to make it nice and plump. And you can see that we created a really beautiful knotted updo, not using any bobby pins, no hair elastic, no hair pins and it's really, really simple, and it took a matter of minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Invisibobble updo. Um, feel free to check me out on Instagram, at the Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm now on Periscope, uh, username Jenny Streeby, and I'll go ahead and link uh, below where you can get some Invisibobbles. You can get them at BehindTheChair.com, and I'll see you guys soon.